Jason Chitaro, me. Me. When do his phone? One Janet lady. Mm, of course, he's beautiful. You know, you know him now. He's selective. I broke up with him. Okay. He broke up with me. We are no more because I'm not living. I could have convinced you. <laughs> so that's what you think. Karen is loving. Karen is caring. Oh, Karen can live without me. Well, watch me live my best life without you. Is that what you've been waiting for? I die so you live your best life? Wait, shut up, shut up. Okay, sorry. You should be thinking about your dead body. Real soon you'll be looking like the way. Shit. You know, there's some comedy in this whole dead body, living, talking to the ghost kind of story. <laughs> you think this is a comedy movie, eh? Wait for the tragedy. Karen. Karen. Are you going to show me how we are going to twist this comedy story? Karen, relax. I'm dead. You should be... Your boyfriend is dead. And not even a single tear. Your phone with your best friend telling her about how I cheated on you. Is that the news? What does that make? Everything is sensitive, ruthless, inhuman. Think about all the bad words. So, you really don't see anything bad about cheating, uh, right? Oh, oh God. There you go again. Look, <laughs> I cheated, so what? I cheated, so what if I... Uh, please. There are limits to this. If I could touch you, your lips would have been wet by now. You're such a silly ghost. Um. You invited her over? He should be ashamed of himself. That's the hateful part. He's not even ashamed. So now what? He wants us to give him an award for cheating. And don't tell me he's playing the blame game. And you, don't end up apologizing. Hmm? Uh, who are you calling? The cheats. See, he will regret it. Don't worry, let me handle this, okay? MFA, you can't call him. <clears throat> Karen, hmm? the cheat is, is, is he in your house? He's everywhere. He should be dead. He is. He's what? He's dead. <sighs> Karen, you killed him? You should have called the police or the hospital. He mentioned it. You've not called any family member. Ah, 
Karen, you are complicating the issue. Finally, someone is speaking sense. What is that supposed to mean? That I am not sensible? I didn't say that. Okay, I mean, it's so obvious you're complicating the issue. Like, with time, you are going to look like a prime suspect. Prime suspect? Yes. You're my friend, but how am I supposed to believe all that you're saying? Come Fine, I believe you. But damn it, Karen! Can the fool hear me? Tell her if she's going to call me a fool, I can't. Yes, he can. But if you're going to address him as a fool, he will develop a death ear. Why did you do that? I didn't kill him. Not you, Karen, talking to the cheats. Are you serious? No, like, are you kidding me right now? There's a dead body lying down there, which is going to smell after a day or two. And you girls are here talking about. You're making matters worse, Karen. What is he saying? That he, the usual. That he's dead, blah, blah, blah. He's dead. Why he left us is what we can deal with. And not a dead person. You should be fast. What? Fast they pass an information from the dead to the living. He said we should do what's needed before we do what's important. Clearly he's not thinking straight. <sighs> mm. I see if someone is thinking straight. Let's bury him. Hi guys, my name is Hilda. I'm a Brasso. How do you feel? I'm stressed. <laughs> Oh, but I'm, I'm good. Uh, it was fun. Yeah.